So the whole time I was asking for a Pokemon live exploration game for kids, and it just never happened. Instead, it was always turn-based baloney strategy for handhelds. So finally, Temtem has been introduced, which seems to be a real competitor to Nintendo's uh, <laughs> Pokemon. So I'm saying that I'm supporting Temtem all the way. You actually battle between your different, you know, creatures in the game. So what I'm also saying is there should be a new, um, let me turn the screen around. There should be a new type of trading card that comes with Temtem where the monster is in polymer with like activating, you know, wire strands to the different polymer etched areas in the playing card. So what I'm saying is the playing card has a clear area. And you can slot two or more into two areas, and then it like it goes up against your eyes. Then, um, you know how like Game and Watch had like different moves the characters could do. Well, with polymer graphics having advanced so far in 3D etching, you can have all different neat colors flashing in as the characters do different moves and you know different splash effect damages and stuff all within just a trading card so the actual trading card you get for the monster you insert it into your game system and then your friends card or whatever and then you can battle between the monsters on the either eye you know that'd be really cool i think i think it's really practical and uh it's kind of like a whole new branch of why trading cards are fun entirely. There, I mean, you could do other ideas like, of course, use them in game to activate stuff. You know, in a more advanced video game that you have attached to your your screen. But I'm just saying, you know how Nintendo Wii they were supposed to employ that thing where you have a sensor bar on your forehead and then the screen tracks with a Wiimote where your head is and then you can play like 3D games where all the pixels skew based on where you're standing in the room to give real 3D feels you move around. Well, with this thing, you can kind of have the Temtem Palmer sliding cards for your headset and then it could connect to a console, a video game console, and actually have graphics <laughs> on the screen and then in supplementing with your, you know, graphics going in with your playing cards, Palmer style. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, but it seems a lot better than, like, Nintendo's, like, horrible red, like, eye strain thing you were supposed to, like, put your eyes into, whatever that was called. That was truly abysmal, and there's been a lot of other companies that have done stupid things like that. So I think trading cards combined with it is, like, the perfect in-between, you know? And Nintendo needs to bring back, um, like, the, like, the, for example, in the 40s, they had, along with the 4-bit the video games, they had, um, like, chocolate coins that had, like, different types of bee honey, usually, to sweeten it with, like, some sort of potent herb that you would play with the, you know, the video game. And come with a trading card and all of this. It's like recent history, but that's all sneaky secret Japan history that's been blocked from the American knowledge market or something. So the point here is, is I'm just bringing back trying to what was always originally there when it came to Nintendo. They're the 910 Do company. You know, you know the legend. Black Sam <laughs> went to uh, the shores of. Um, Japan looking for you know recruits and he found tons of willing fishermen with great skill with large samurai swords from uh gutting fish with them and um introduced the 910 then you do so there's a whole bunch of games on board you know ships where you use all different types of herbs and concentrates and sometimes even valuable fruits that are dried or something and you know there's a bunch of different card games where you get to the 9 and then 10, and then somebody has to, say, slap down a um, face card, and then somebody has to do whatever herb and get you know more fucked up or whatever. So that type of principle that Nintendo, Nintendo, uh, started with, 
is what we really need to get back with. That's why with the movies I'm releasing, I'm saying there's all different types of new hemp flavors that have been crossed with other herbs or other factors in the soil to just make amazing varieties that affect your mental state for the purely positive in an environment that's purely positive in a movie that's been, you know, set up for it. So that's another direction. I'm just saying video game consoles, same thing. The 40X experience I recommended in your living room with your own four-person couch. You can have four-person video games. You can be playing Mario Kart. You know, when you throw an item at somebody else, it bashes the person in the butt or the back or whatever as it hits them and blows up their card for a second. Come on, guys. Like, we need to merge all this together. We need, then we need to have mass video game tournaments in... um actual 40x rooms at theaters so everybody can you know enjoy it all at once you know what i'm saying the future is now and holy cow uh brown cow yogurt is delicious where'd that go like where did my okay that's another topic but where'd my rice cream sandwiches go where'd all that healthy food go i go to the store it's not around do i have to wait all the way to 2024 for people to remake a facsimile come on <laughs> anyways uh i guess i'll stop now